Welcome back, folks, to another episode. Look at the shop. Banjo, looking was, good. Really you, you did great. No, I'm just kidding. Beefcake. Papa Beefcake. He, he's a, not, not you, buddy. Not him. He's, uh, he's been working on this for days now, and we've got it looking good to where we're actually ready to make some improvements rather than just organize. And we've got some lev racks coming. If you guys don't know what it is, it is a game changer. I literally saw this roll across Instagram, like an ad, and I was like, I need one of those. I looked up, all of a sudden realized they're local beauties. They're Nebraska folks as well. And so we talked. I actually went to their shop, hung out them for a little bit and kind of picked out a couple different items and they're going to be delivering them here any minute any minute they should be coming down make sure they're not actually coming down right now but today's video is not about the shop this is just kind of an update kind of bringing you guys along the process kind of what we've got going on we didn't film any of this but i mean we've got ladders now we've got actual hanging racks i guess you would call it this is where one rack is going to go you'll see them when they get there it's like a it's kind of like a pallet rack and it slides back and it, it's absolute game changer so if you have a workshop you have a shop or anything like that you're going to want something like this but to give you kind of a shop update that's kind of what came out of this corner so all this is going to be pulled back the fishing corners looking pretty good we've got it fairly organized here that still needs a little little touch up here but everything's got all cleaned out power wash here's all the tools so we've got the tools organized so we're gonna do a little bit more organizing with this so i think we're gonna add another pegboard over there and then we're gonna put a rack over here so i think this rack's gonna have like nuts bolts extra stuff so like you know you don't need 97 pair of needle nose those have been inherited like these were this was definitely my dad's like i grew up with you, that little you didn't sucker buy this guy what th th is that peanut butter on there that actually probably is peanut butter yeah put and put it on the little mouth it's putting it on mouse traps how yeah how much no, I'm good. It will! He says no! Have you seen those TikToks where they do the earwax prank? Where oh, yeah, with peanut butter, butter and then they eat it? Oh, that, that is disgusting. So, we're not sure what we're going to get done today. Besides, we're going to get the racks obviously put in somewhat organized. Why that is on my... <laughs> you never know when you got to chop something Jeez. up. I mean, that's a full-blown kitchen knife yeah, right there. So, the shove's looking good, though. I mean, everything's working. We've got fans up there. We got a refrigerator, finally. Why it took us a year and a half to get a refrigerator in the shop, I have no idea. But it's coming together. It's cleaned up. Now we've taken inventory of everything. We figured out what we have, what we need, what we still need to buy. Now it's like, okay, where do we put all of it? So, that's where we're getting the lever racks put in. We've got, like I said, one over there, one over there. The other small one's going to be for more, like, tools, nuts, bolts, pliers, like, extra stuff. The pegboard's going to have one of everything. And then and all of like our spares and extras and stuff like that will go in the other one. And then this is gonna be more like equipment based. So you're gonna have your fuel, you're gonna have all of your grease guns, you're gonna have maybe all your landscaping stuff because we've got the mowers and the trimmers and all that stuff like that. But the main thing that we're doing today, tonight, it's hotter than heck. So we gotta wait for it to get dark. Plus, I mean, that's just what you do when you're bow fishing is we are taking the behemoth of a boat, Big Sheila, out bow fishing at night for the first time. We uh, took the little boat down to the farm and shot some fish. We're gonna try to put it in there, but there's no boat ramp. So that's gonna be a little bit tricky. So if we can't get it in there, we might have to try somewhere else, but we want to bow fish at night. That is the plan for today's episode. But, oh, oh, they're here. Look at them. Oh, they're coming in. They are coming in hot. Sheesh. Look at that. They brought the goods, folks. Lev Rack is here. We are ready to get organizing. You guys stay tuned. minutes folks that is what it just took to get them installed we'll kind of walk through we're not going to do everything today we're going to try to organize some of it but we still need to get some accessories so this is a seven i think it's seven by seven so it's seven wide and then seven tall they slide so it's basically a pallet rack system where you put stuff on top but look at all these different shelves you could put all your gadgets gizmos the other thing that's cool is in this guy that's slat wall so we that's what they brought up some of it for us here and you can also stick some slat wall on the outside of it so you could hang up whatever we're thinking we don't have enough space in this shop but if we ever were to transform the fishing corner over there you could turn the entire fishing corner into one of the lev racks you could put like this whole thing could go into that which we're not doing today we didn't order enough for that we really would have to move some stuff around but you could put all your fishing tackle at least all that and probably just half of this and you'd still have another half like I said, the other thing that they do um and we're not we haven't done you know all the cool different modifications that, that they have they turn like half of it into a workbench so it's like a workbench with a light so you could actually like tinker with your tackle and then you walk over 
over here, you slide this around, you're like, oh, I'm looking for my spinner baits. Oh, boom, and you could have all your tackle here. So that's not what we're doing. We didn't get it for fishing, we got it for tools. Fishing corner isn't looking too bad, but it could definitely look better. So depending on kind of what we were thinking, we may end up getting another one for that corner. These are just absolute game changer. I gotta say huge shout out to Leverack for coming out, hooking up. They literally had both these installed in like 20 minutes in total. They will be linked down below if you wanna go check them out. And like I said, they're local beauties too, which also helps support your local boys. So this is basically what it is. We're gonna try to take some of that corner and this pile and just kind of throw it in here. We're not completely done. We're still gonna get some slat wall. We're still gonna get some of the pegboard and really customize these. Like these shells can go anywhere in here. You know, it's like one of them do. So you can take them out, you can add them. Completely customizable and they make them bigger. So this is eight by eight. So it's eight foot and that's seven foot. They make them 12 foot. So like they get massive. You can put whatever you want on top of them because it's a pallet rack. Like if I wanted to, I could pick that sucker up and set her up there in the winter. Am I gonna do it? Probably not. If you guys wanna see it, let me know. I'd have to get some type of crane or something. When I went to their shop, I went and actually like went to their shop. I looked at them, I wanna make sure they're legit and they are legit. They also can wrap these suckers, which is also kind of cool. But the other thing that's cool is they're not on the floor. So they slide, so you can still sweep. Like, oh look, we got a little nut right here. So you pick that sucker up. So they're not on the ground. It makes for easy cleaning. You can take a leaf blower and clean out all the dust or push them to the side and actually take a broom. It's like the whole thing all the way around is game change. So with that being said, let's get some stuff moved in. This is our mess currently, okay? We've got some yard maintenance stuff here. We've got bins full of oil and gas and fluids of all sorts. Tight repair kits, grease, WD-40, all that type of stuff, and a bunch of gas cans, diesel cans. This is kind of like yard equipment slash heavy equipment stuff. But I mean, that's kind of what it looks like. So we're gonna try to make as big of a dent in that as possible and load it. I will say though, I'm already calling it now. This ain't even gonna scratch the surface, folks. You could put so much in these suckers. I had no idea. Like once we started kind of looking, I'm like, yeah, no, what, what took up this entire corner is gonna take up like one of these vertical shells right here because you can get so much height on. With that being said, we're gonna take everything from here as much as we can and get her loaded up in the lever rack. Stay tuned. not say ladies and gentlemen this would take up none of the space okay and I organized it like an idiot I'll get a little bit of light in here like this could all be you know like that but I organized like this you can see everything but like tons more space this has literally nothing in it up there this has pretty much nothing all these are empty this is just we're just trying to fill it up just to have an excuse to fill it up we will have stuff so what we did is we went with diesel this is all the oil for the skid loader the excavator all that good stuff we've got funnels rags gloves grease literally nothing up there we put extra oil and stuff up there. I would say if you really consolidated, maybe half, maybe 40% full. And then on this side- You're gonna have to buy more stuff. I might- I like it. The band is excited. So much room for extra. <laughs> so much room. Look, I mean, this is ridiculous. What What is this shelf right here? We, we did live here. We did nothing. <laughs> this hey, you got that butane? Oh, yes, throw some butane over there. So that's pretty much what we have. We just put this over here. I, I don't know what the thought process was. And then here is like more lawn stuff, like bags of grass seed don't need to be organized like this. this could go anywhere. But again, we're just looking for an excuse to put something in here. These are all of our spreaders. We have grass seed and here's, you know, 240, like all the grass and weed killers, like lawn maintenance stuff. And then insect killer that I bought two years ago, never put together, never did anything. Like it is insane how much stuff you can actually fit on top of it, literally on top of it, you can put stuff up there. And then you can put the slat walls where you can hang stuff. If we thought about, you know, you could hang that, this little sucker right here, you could hang up. I mean, you could really customize it. And this was just the eight footer. I mean, at least they make bigger ones. So that's an update on the shop. It's coming together nicely. I'm thinking we might want one for the fishing corner just because it could really, it could really organize some stuff. I mean, you saw how much stuff we had kind of piled up here. It was pretty much that entire corner. Got moved in. We didn't even, overall, probably filled 35 to 40%. And if you're really stuffing it, we probably only filled it about 25%. On top of, again, we didn't put any slide on. We didn't do anything like that. The other thing they have is they do put some lights on it. So this is an LED strip. We're not gonna put it on this one because we have the window, which gives us some nice lighting. But over there where the tools are, which we're not gonna work on today, you could put the light bar in there and we're, we'll keep you guys updated as we kind of get stuff organized and maybe give you guys a couple ideas. I love getting ideas for organizing because I suck at it. Like I'm really, really bad at making stuff look good and organizing it. But this is like the easiest thing. It's like, hey, Here's a bunch of shelves, fill it up, slide them around. You can sweep under it. It's, it's easy to put together and they're sturdy. You can put a bunch of weight on it. So this, this so far out of all the organization tactics we've used has been the easiest to use. So with that being said, we're gonna let it cool off. I'm sweating just standing in here. It's like 97.
27 degrees outside. We are gonna take the big boat down to the farm, try to shoot some fish at night with the lights for the first time. With that being said, you guys stay tuned. Shoo! We made it down to the farm, folks, and we have the behemoth, the battleship, the Carp Slayer 3000, folks. This is where things are gonna get interesting. We took a little Johnny out here. We took a little surf and turf, okay? And that surf and turf boat did not handle this body of water all that great. It was super shallow. So we thought if the little 16 foot flat bottom didn't do too hot, let's bring the 20 foot, 72 inch wide, big old behemoth with the lights on it and see if it works. There is a very, very good chance this thing get stuck my truck get stuck i get stuck so stay tuned for that we're not sure what is going to happen but as you can see we are at the ducks diner here this is where we've shot fish before came down here stumbled upon that's the freaking juice we're like hey what about at night so that's what we got this guy and it's not nighttime yet um, but we wanted to give plenty of time for us to get the boat out get situated maybe smack a couple of them little uh, carp fishies before it gets dark and if we can launch in and does well trapper jay said he's going to come down he's got a buddy with him as well we'll have a whole shooting party if it goes well if uh we can't get the boat in the water or we get stuck or whatever then it's just pure entertainment for you guys and that's pretty much what we're going to be doing for the day so today's objective get old battleship in the water hopefully the lights work we got the generator trolling motor we don't have the fish finder hooked up but we don't need that for this where this is like a photo water the water's really muddy though so i don't know if the lights are going to work or if you're going to see them or not well, this is just it's like our test run it's using this boat for the first time hopefully maybe may finding some guard it's not just about carp either there's probably gar in here as all well. no one knows stuff weird stuff happens at night out here so that's why we got these big freaking lights so we can see what's going on and we're armed with bow fishing bows if anything jumps out and scares us they're getting harpooned or something like that so with that being said enjoy us trying to get this uh overly large john boat in a place that i don't think boats are supposed to go in stay tuned Getting any deeper than that? Is it high and dry? I mean, you've got about three inches. Is of... the boat even touching the water? No. Yeah, I mean, it's touching the water. I don't think it gets deeper out there. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. How it's flattening out? Rare. No chance, huh? No shot. I don't know if I want to take my truck any further. I mean, we do have Beefcake Trapper Jay coming. He's pretty strong. I think I can get up there and budget. Give her. <gasps> yeah, definitely don't want to take the truck any further. Oh, she, she, that boot's got a leak. Yes, sir. I'm damp. I'm freaking damp. Yep, I'm wet. I am no longer dry. I'm not sure this is the strat. Our other option is pull it out and go try to launch it in the other side. I don't know if that's yeah. any better at all, but it just don't get any deeper. The pond yeah, itself I mean, your is- tires are still dry on the trailer. Yeah, I, like the pond itself does not get deeper than this. We might want to go pull out and go try the other, not the duck diner, the old bed where we duck hunt, where I, ha I do have a boat ramp out there. It may be deeper, it may be shallower. I don't see this happening here though. If it weren't for the trailer, I think the boat would float. I think the boat would too. Not with the trailer. I mean, like a tilt it. trailer that just like shoves it off. All right, well, I don't know if I can get, I can get my truck out here now. Freaking rip. Let's go check out the old boat ramp. Come on, Ford. Don't let me down now, son. Rip. Why did I know this was happening? It's that hill that's messing you up. Budging. You're in four wheel drive too, ain't you? I'm in four wheel drive. Oh, rip. You almost had it. All right, give her the old rocky rock. Dang it. So good. Got a break in the winch. I promise I got nothing to winch to. Let me assess the damage. Oh. I mean, oh, she's yeah, deep I'm, after that one. I'm deep. Like, yeah, try, I gotta call Trapper Jay now. Or Jake's out here. Jake's got a bigger truck. The thing is, like, Jake's notorious for pulling me out. Like, I get stuck and he asks me, so it's gonna be funny if I call him. Hey, can you come get me out? Ah, <laughs> oh, sheesh! I went dog to China. He's gonna be pissed. For some reason, I thought this would work, though. Like, I, I, I'm not just doing this to like, look, at, look like an idiot. I am an idiot, but like, I actually had faith. I was like, ah, oh, you know. I've put my boat in some sketchier things, but there's no between sketchy and just not having water. If Jake's not home, I'll just jump in one of them tractors laying around over there and start driving around. I can drive a tractor, I think. Hello. Hey, what's up? Uh, Are you home? Yeah. You want to pull my truck out? What's that? Do you want to pull my truck out? Where are you at? On the old bed? Where at? Uh, to the west. Out on the west by the cell phone tower. How 
about is don't need my tractor. Nah, I think your truck would, I don't know, I guess. I could probably winch myself out. I just need something to winch to. Uh, I'll be down. Okay, see you in a minute. <laughs> I, like, he's literally gotten me out. I've gotten the ex big excavator stuck, my skid loader stuck twice. I think there was a couple other times too. I think I got my mini stuck once. He's usually the guy to rescue me. He's. We'll see if his truck can get this out. That's that's a hell of a hill to climb, to be honest with you. I was probably better off just not doing anything. And Especially with that thing behind you. That sucker's heavy and it's sunk in the mud, I think is the problem. Cause oh, like, yeah. dude, even backing it in, my truck would like, it wouldn't even go. Like it was like- Once the trailer tires hit that water, they just slide. They don't spin No, they don't anymore. spin. You just push them through. He may need to get the tractor. Luckily, he does have, a, his tractor's right there. So the problem is, is we're not on pavement, we're on dirt. So like, he's gonna be in dirt. I'm gonna be in mud. Should we go try the others? I'm like nervous to go check the other side now. I mean, if there's a boat ramp, might as well give it a shot. There's a boat ramp, but the rock does not go that far. Like that's the things we don't launch big boats like this usually. Like my other duck boat's like 17, 18 foot, but it's not as big and heavy. Freaking rip. This is exactly how I expect this boat. I should sell this boat. This is exactly how I expected my first adventure out with this. It's it's too freaking big. I wanted something smaller, but there's just nothing for sale right now. Like this is the only used one I could find. There's nothing new. This is designed for like a big deep lake, not a six inch deep puddle, which is what I attempted to put this in. So my truck almost had it. Almost. It, yeah. I was getting a little rock. I think that sucker is just too much and I'm buried. I went down about a good eight inches there. So my tires are all slicked up. If we were to get stuck, this is a good location. There's hella tractors here. It's not like we're in the middle of nowhere. You know, this could have happened the first time we took it out. We went to a sketchy boat ramp and it was fine. Noted, if it's like not a pristine boat ramp, don't try to launch. Oh, here he comes. He's going to be pissed. He's going to look at me like, you dumbass. What made you think you could put that boat in that little pond? I'm just trying to shoot some fish, have a good time with my friends. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get out. Who thought that was a good idea? Putting a 20 foot boat in there? That ain't happening. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. All right, get the winch going, I guess. Yep. Well, that ain't it. I don't know about that. Back it up a little bit more. <laughs> he hates me. One more. Yep. You got something there? I don't know if I got a hammer, I might. There we go. We're good. All right, huge shout out to Trap Lord Jake. I got a dirty truck now. The old winch uh, did, did its duty. Um, I called Trap Jay and said, hey, uh, the old Ducks Diner ain't the deal, son. You got any other places, any other ideas? He's like, yeah, I know a place down yonder. It's got a gravel uh, boat ramp. We'll be all right. So we're headed out. We're going to go drive over, meet up with Trapper Jay. This is why I came here early and didn't show up like right at sunset because I didn't want to be pulling the truck out in the dark. So we are going to be headed out and go to just a random spot off the road, I think. But he said there's a boat ramp. It could be good. It could not be. We're not really sure. That's what happens when you buy too large of a boat and you try to put it in places big boats don't belong. So with that being said, we'll see you guys next spot. Well, we made it. Next spot. Looking like one of these doohickeys. We've never been here before. Pulled off the side of the road and found us a little puddle. We're, it's actually good timing. We started early. Trapper Jay, how you feeling? You, you excited? Did you shoot a fish today? I did, yep. Yeah? Was that your first one? On the bow, yeah. Oh, okay. We've got some fish to shoot, I guess, today. So we've got four beef cakes out here, ready to give it a dangle. So what's this? The ramp's looking pretty good, though, is what you're saying? Yeah, it turns to sand, but it's, it's Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. As long as you don't gunner. Oh, it'll be all right. There's some fish rolling out there. Look, a little catch and cook fire. How about that? You think I'll be all right in the sand? Shouldn't go nowhere, hopefully. Yeah, we'll be all right. Well, we've only gotten stuck once. What's the worst that's going to happen? About to get stuck, you know. She don't drop very quick. Does I mean, she's hard bombing. I mean, there's a tree I can winch to, probably. Yeah, you're not sinking at all. Your truck has little hooks on the front. I could winch it out. Let's give her hell. Is she going down at all? No. All right, Plan C. Oh, I'm wet. All right, I'm already wet. wet. Finally found a concrete ramp, folks. I think we're in business. You good on that side? Yeah, he's fine on this side. Dude, that took that took three of us last time. You see him? He's just like one-handed. Be better for Lake Lake. We're on, folks. 
is where we're gonna see, this is the final moment, see if the lights work. First pull, son, I about fell in the water. Oh, that's off. It's definitely not as quiet as it was before. It's a lot louder. Why does it say overload? Do you know what overload means? Overload. Overload's for like drawing power, right? I have literally nothing plugged into it. Now we're talking. It's like a Christmas vacation where they're like, here we go, boys. Huh? We tried this before. Hang on now. All right, try that again. We literally let this run. That, something has to be plugged in up there. That's just your Tromar chargers. These are your two char- your, your, This is your back and your front. Maybe I'll leave it off that. Okay. You got lights? That's it. I'm picking up the face. Oh, we're, we're glowing now, son. Hold up now. We're not that- Oh, it's a party. We got Guggen Green going on, son. Shoo! Let's see if we can go find a fish. Got dark, folks. There's <laughs> hella bugs out here, but we're ready. Look at that guy. Sheesh! You can pretty see good. him pretty good, though. Come on, generator, you got it. Little gar. Oh, that was close! You would think a 2,000 size generator would be fine, right? Little gar. Oh, that was close. Hey, I had to give her, give her a shot, get the line wet. The generator's not doing too hot, though, I'll be honest. The thing's got a booty cheeks back there. It's about to, it's about to kill out. There's a bunch of little gar so far. Oh. You see him? That was a that was a gar or a car. Little not not too big, but better than a gar. Oh, there's big oh, big at, big car. They're up shallow, big ones. Yeah, there's two good size ones right there. Those two took off crazy. Yeah, they were a pretty good size. Where the big mamas at? Should I go up in this pocket? You think? Yeah, I think so. Oh, right off his nose. Dude, the carp are up shallow. We just can't you can't see them until they're too close. She's real shallow up here, son. Man, if we could get this on the, the farm pond, we would have been. Oh, yeah. We've been mint. This is a doozy. Oh yeah. Oh, you got him, you got him. Yep. You got him, nice. Woo! First fish. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> That's what we've been shooting at all night. Oh, barely got him too. Look at that. Look at that guy. Woo! Take him. We're crushing Every it. Every time. Right in the bucket. Well, that's what we're after. There's no big ones out here yet. Should we just go start cruising? I mean, I don't see, I don't think they're shallow. I don't know. I've never done this before. Oh, hey, there how's it going? The there goes my reel. Oh, okay. All right, hang on now. Hang on, we got a predicament here, son. I can't reel. I can't reel because my reel fell off. That's what I was talking about with getting a new reel put on here because that happened last time. Oh, he's on to us. That was a better size one. That, there's, a, there's a cart right there. Go ahead. Go, ahead. go, go, both of us. Come on. One, two, three. Go. I might have went under you. That was the first carp we've seen that was actually shootable. He wasn't very big, but it was a carp. A big one right there. He just he swam off. That was a giant. Oh, there's a carp right there. Oh, way low. Way low. Oh! Right over his back. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Oh, it was right over his back. That was a carp. Yeah. They're not getting shallow. Like, they're just, they're not up high at all. There's like little white glowing masses. We're getting into more of them. That's a good sign. Trevor J shooting six five pounds. Just trying to get that collateral yeah. action. Might as well get practice while we're at it. We're definitely seeing more carp out towards the middle, though, I will say. A little one right there. Oh, whoa, that was a carp that shot out. That was another carp. They were sitting below all the guard. That's not bad. Got it. Oh! What's going on here? Oh, right under him. Shoot him again. Oh. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Carp. Oh, his arrow doesn't fall out. He goes, and his arrow just bloop <laughs> right in the water. Oh. Oh, snap. Oh, he got him. He got him. Finally. It's been slow, boys. Look at that guy. Sheesh. Sheesh kebab him. We got two. It's been, it's been, I've been trying not to shoot as many gar. I'm looking for more carp, but I might just have to start slinging at these gar a little bit more. Cause <laughs> I've been eating more bugs than shooting fish, but it's going to happen. We'll find a big one. Yeah, I can't get quite close enough to shine through the bank. I keep hitting bottom. I know that's probably where they're at. You find a crystal clear lake that's got carp. Oh, there's a good one right in front of you. Ain't too bad. Oh, what? he got him. He got him. Sheesh, it's a beast, dude. That was a good size one too. A little better than the last, I think. Yee. Not even at a close to where I was looking. Not at all. Really? I thought that was the deal. 
Oh, there's something right there. That was real quick. It looked like a bigger one. Bigger gar. Oh, oh, there's a carp. Oh, Asian carp right there. I have it. I'm not gonna shoot across you. It's all right. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, way too low. Way too high. Way too low. Off my game, son. Oh, right over its tail. Son of a gun. These suckers are fast. Look at the dust. Oh, yeah. They're there, we yep. just can't see them. Too muddy. Right there, right there, right there. Get him. Oh, he took off. That was close. Ooh. God dang, son. Give me one. Give me one of them, boys. I could like be, see just a hint of a carp down there. there right here. Right there, right there. Oh, my shot below them. They're hard. They're f moving and cruising and groove. Pretty tough to hit. And they're not very big, but we found them. Oh, Asian carp jump out right when you did that. Right there. Oh, that one looked good. There's two. Oh, what? I got him. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. I heard it. I heard the pop. Shoot. Finally got the old shish kebab. Look at that guy. Woo. That's what we were after. In the nursery, son. Look at that little guy. All that work for just one of these. It definitely takes more skill than shooting a bigger one. Oh, God, yeah. Well, first one down for me. It's been kind of rough, but we're just, we're getting the boat broken in, getting the kinks figured out. And I mean, like Trapper J said, it's way harder to shoot one of those than a big one. So if anything, we're just honing in our skills, sharpening our, our shooting abilities. Still looking for Big Mama. Hard to see that guy. Oh, oh God, right in front. Let her rip, boys, let her rip. We got the whole wolf pack. Sheesh. Let her rip. Oh. I just thought they were spawning and that's what makes it easy. But I don't know how many commons are in here, I guess, because we ain't seen one yet. I'm sure they're in here somewhere. Shablam! Oh, I thought I grazed him. Oh yeah? Oh, I hit him, I definitely hit him. It just didn't stick on him. Maybe that's the Hoya strat. I've been messing up this whole time. Oh yeah? Oh, there's one right below us too. That suck. I can't quite do it right. <sighs> Pretty awkward shot. Oh, get him, son. <sighs> Dude, that thing hits with some force, bro. No matter what, you're knocking that sucker unconscious. Just from the shock. It's breaking the sound barrier. Oh, it's a hair low. Just a hair low. We're just a hair low. Oh, what's up, buddy? Oh, yeah. We got one. Shoot. Look at this guy. Kebab. Well, little by little, few by few, we're getting them dialed. Still haven't seen any bacon. We're hanging in the nursery for the evening, I guess. Oh, we got two of them. Oh, did I get him? Nope. Did you get him? Nope. Oh, low, 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 low. Oh, damn, son. Shoo, Usain Bolt's over here. Can't keep up with Phelps. Oh, that sounded like you got him. Oh, 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 he uh oh. <laughs> he says he gone. No more arrow. That's man down right there. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. What up, Junior? That's what I'm talking about right there, boy. Woo. Ooh, hello, my friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, the guppies. There Too far to the left for me. Let her rip. So high oh, that was good. I was so close. Imagine if the, all these were like 36 inches long. One right there. You want to shoot that guy? Can you get him? No, not really. You got it. Go ahead. He's just sitting there. Oh, <laughs> it's hard to shoot. I can't shoot over this trolling yeah. motor. Oh, hey, how you doing? Where are you going, pal? Oh. Off the nose. Oh. oh, 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 there goes your arrow. She gone. <laughs> look at, look at oh, we got two right here. Oh. Oh, I got him. Got I got him. I didn't say nothing. I didn't think I got him, but I did. Shee! Well, folks, it's getting late. We found where the hatchery is, I guess, for Gar. Oh, you get after it, son. Oh, if you want to steer the ship, you go for it. I'm, I'm retiring for the day. It's been a long night. It's been good. This was, we wanted to break it in, and we broke it in. First fish, several fish. We all shot plenty of fish. No giants, though. Unfortunately, no big ones. So we're going to have to find some other bodies of water that are capable of facilitating this big old beast of a boat. 
slow, but with four beefcakes up here, ain't no big deal for Big Sheila. So, that being said, this guy is gonna be the last one that I pull back on for today. Let me know, guys, if uh, you want uh, to see more boat fishing videos. If you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, or think maybe go to the river. It's a little scary. If you guys wanna see us go out in the river. Trevor J is also thinking overnight challenge, camping challenge. Like, take this out, bring a grill, bring a tent, sleep on the boat overnight. If you guys like that idea, let me know in the comment section down below. Hopefully, you guys all enjoy today's video. And peace.